Okay, I make a I want to make a video on how to set your timing on your 99 Civic. First thing you want to do is come down here and find find this plug right here next to the ECU. You want to put a, sh a short in there in that plug. I just use a little jumper that I make like this. And you wouldn't wedge it into the little plastic deal down there. And when you do that, that'll you can tell if you did it right. Because when you start your car, your check engine light will be on. So there you can see. <coughs> My check engine light over here is on. That tells me if you put it in and it didn't, if your check engine engine light doesn't come on, that means you don't have the short in there. Good, just reseat it. So. What that does is tell the ECU not to mess with the timing when you're setting it. So you get yourself a timing gun and hook up your uh, positive turbo to the positive battery. I like to hook up my negative terminal right over here. This is a really good spot because there's already a ground exposed. And then uh, you have a clip that you put on your number one spark plug wire. And then once you get that on, you start your engine and then you come over here and let's see if we can find it in the camera. Kind of hard to get an angle on it right down here. I don't think you can see that. There's basically a V cut in there, and it's right over your pulley. So you start the engine, you hold your timing light on there, and you squeeze the trigger, and it flashes every time the number one spark plug wire flashes. And there's a red mark down there. You just get the red mark in between that V shaped thing, that V shaped mark. And then what you do is on your distributor, before you do that you should actually do this, you loosen your distributor, there's three bolts, one here, one on top, this one there, one on top, and one on the side here. And you get them loose enough to where you can move this around, it's nice to have a wrench standing by. And so you just rotate this clockwise or counterclockwise to advance or, or uh, move back your timing. What that does is when you sw swing that back and forth, it makes it a red mark over here. Either go this way or this way. And you just do that till you can get the red mark inside uh, the timing marks and then you just tighten down your distributor. And then don't forget to take that clip out of your, uh, turn off the car, take the clip out of your ECU check set setting. And then, uh, then your car is timed. You should do this also when, uh, the car's warmed up and it's good just wait till the fans kick on and then you'll know it's warm enough. That's about it. <laughs> 